that time of the week again. Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday reviews. Friday, Friday, Friday film reviews. Yay, so it's Friday reviews. And today I'm going to be reviewing The Longest Ride, which I have been looking forward to for quite a long time because I really enjoy these Nicholas Sparks movie adaptations. I think I've seen all of them. I don't think there's any I haven't seen. No, I'm definitely sure I've seen all of the uh, Nicholas Spark adaptations. Now, the one previous to this one was called The Best of Me, and that one I actually didn't quite enjoy as much as some of the others. Uh, but yeah, it was okay. I still enjoyed it. I still had a good time with it, but I just didn't enjoy it as much as some others. But when I saw the trailer for this one, of which actually I probably watched 30 seconds of the trailer, I really didn't want to give too much away. I just kind of wanted to see, kind of get a bit of a vibe for it, and it did look really, really cool um, from that very beginning bit of the trailer I saw, but it didn't give away something which was kind of a big part of the story of the bit the trailer I watched. So I was really surprised when watching this movie, and it definitely was different than the others. I feel like it's not your typical romantic movie, and it has kind of overcrossing stories. Um, but basically our kind of... I guess main story you can see advertised like on the box and everything we have Sophia and Luke and it's kind of their romance story I suppose but it's not like it just really isn't very typical and I really liked that about this one um, I feel like with some Nicholas Sparks they are kind of a little bit similar but this one I feel like really kind of did go out of its you know differences and basically Luke is a bull rider which I thought was awesome that aspect I loved I've never really watched a movie about bull riders I don't know much about it and kind of figuring out little bits about it I thought it was really really interesting and I really enjoyed that aspect of it and Sophia really loves art and um, I really liked that as well she had a chair at one point and I was like oh my god she had this chair that she was sat on quite in the beginning of the movie and it was a starry night chair I, I just really want that chair. It was amazing. Um, anyway, and you know, she's kind of got her kind of life going on with her passions and he's got his. And you know, they, it's kind of about them trying to go through their differences and see, you know, if they want to be together and stuff. But apart from that, there's also this other bit of the story where basically, um, Sophia mainly, I would say, um, becomes friends through certain circumstances, which I won't ruin, with this old man um, called Iron. And I hope that's how you say his name. And he is so sweet and lovely, and I absolutely fell in love with his story. Um, and that's kind of where the second story comes in with this one. And I loved it so much. I loved his story. Um, he, he has this kind of, you know, story that he tells throughout the film uh, of him and Ruth. And it was fantastic. And the ending, I loved. I loved the ending. There was a part that just really, really got to me, and I thought it was just brilliant. And overall, I just enjoyed this movie a lot. It was a great fun watch. It was different. It was kind of original in its own ways. It wasn't just your standard romantic movie. And it kind of had that Nicholas Sparks vibe still. But I definitely think I preferred it to the best of me. Um, however, the movie... So we've got The Longest Ride and then The Best of Me, which came out before this one. And we've got Safe Haven, which came out before. And Safe Haven is literally one of my favourites ever. I love Safe Haven so much. So I don't love it as much as, you know, it's not my favourite Nicholas Sparks movie. Um, I definitely have others that I really love more, like, you know, Safe Haven, uh, The Notebook. Uh, but as for The Longest Ride, to go with the Nicholas Sparks mix, it's definitely quite a help there. And I'd give it four and a half stars. Uh, which you know is a great rating and I just, I, it was just something about it that felt so, I felt so connected to every character that it, that I thought that it did a great job in that and like I said the overlapping stories and stuff um, so yeah if you've seen any other Nicholas Sparks movie and you've enjoyed it I would definitely recommend checking this one out and I think, I think it is one that most people could watch, I don't think it's particular to people who like romance movies. I think it definitely isn't just, oh, this is a romantic movie. I think it has a lot more depth to it in many, many ways. Um, so I think that a more range of people could watch this one. So if you're kind of casting it off, I think you could still get enjoyment out of this one, even if it's not your type of genre. So definitely don't kind of, this is definitely one. I mean, the box makes it look very romancy fancy but it's it's it definitely has its layers and is deeper than that and that's what i really liked about this one so yeah if you have seen the longest ride comment down below and let me know your thoughts on it thumbs up if you guys enjoy friday reviews and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching goodbye